swear by you. Dr. Cronus, Dr. Jacob Cronus. Well, like official. Well, it's tight. You hold it down just a little. Uh, angle with your left hand. There you go. Found in the EMS uh, several hundred recordings, and then after applying Gold Shield, we came back 24 hours later, and we found uh, readings of below 10. We went back and cultured the original recordings in a laboratory and actually grew the organisms. So the relative count from uh, several hundred thousand, several hundred in the actual quantitative analysis showed that there was several hundred thousand organisms. And the reduction down to below 10 is a dramatic reduction. What would relate in laboratory terms of four to five log reductions, 99.99% up to 99.9999%. All right, uh, we're in a, another patient's room. These are typical instruments that you see consistent throughout every hospital. Here you have a um, handheld uh, uh, thermometer or temperature gauge for patients to see what the temperature is as goes into the year. Obviously there's a lot of hand contact on these things. Uh, here's a doctor's uh, stethoscope. We know for a fact that they are required by protocol to wipe down the stethoscope between patient, but typically what happens is if they uh, are taking care of a patient, uh, they're going through uh, the monitoring of the patient and they take these off, they put them around their neck or they take them and they stick them in their lab coat before they clean them, if they clean them. Most doctors will tell you in the surveys that we have evidence of is they really don't clean them between patient. That means that if there's any bacteria such as MRSA on a patient's skin that they are evaluating and he sticks it in his pocket and he takes it over and he uh, puts it onto another patient, there is a likelihood that this becomes a vector of disease. So the best thing for all of these high hand contact, including a telephone remote, uh, which people are touching all the time as you would in a, in a hotel, uh, they're not, not very well cleaned and they're not cleaned frequently. Another area that has been uh, a great concern with all hospitals uh, their blood cup. If a patient has pathogens on their arm, those pass pathogens are, are transferred over to the blood cup. If it's this was used for another patient that came in uh, two and a half days later, those pathogens can then be transferred back on to the new patient. It's the nurse's uh, TV control panel. Just try to get the high touch areas. The number is 130. satisfactory and uh, we know that the room had been cleaned before we came in probably about an hour and a half so that's a very good sign however uh, if we came back a day later if uh, it was fairly active with patients it would probably well exceed 30 which would be an unsafe blood cuff that's the kind of thing you're trying to avoid uh, spraying that and if we sprayed it once a week we would have readings far below 10 
uh, with multiple use by a uh, by patients. I'm kind of worried about that chair I'm sitting in it, you know. <laughs> Spill a bucket of needles, you know. Let it ride. We're going to. Thank you. No problem. Back soon. One, two, three, four. The number's down to 22 after just about five minutes uh, after it's been cleaned with cold chilled. So it will actually go lower as it stays on longer. I'm kind of worried about that chair I'm sitting in it, you know. <laughs> Spill a little bucket of needles, you know. Let it ride. We're going to let this blood cough. C. diff is a spore that uh, is very common among some of the elderly patients. Uh, it actually comes from the feces. Uh, if they went to a restroom, uh, they didn't clean their hands, they could come back, pick up this, and use this and transfer C. diff spores onto this. The next person that picks this up is guaranteed to pick up C. diff spores because the alcohol base um, hand cleaning agents don't remove C. diff spores from their hands. So th that's how this bug begins to spread and the concern is, although infection rates are very low with C. diff, the uh, morbidity rate is extraordinarily high. Oh. Yeah, there's 4,114 uh, potential organisms and blood pathogens on that one wheel. What you want to do very easily, you can just go around the wheel itself. everything gets your darts and all get up in the, uh, the towel. This is the reading is two after about three minutes yeah. after we uh, put the gold shield on. Are you ready to see this? Yeah, let's. 809. 809? 809. You ready? I'm going to take my towel out and I'm going to have a high. You can smell the. You smell that? Yeah. It's like hitting a pet stain in your carpet when you're doing it with it. You know right where it is. You got my time on this one? Thank you.
Five percent. 